Noel and we're here at Petiti Garden Centers in Oakwood Village and it's a beautiful spring day and I wanted to talk to you about lilacs because they really are a fantastic plant that you can grow just about in any sunny place in the yard um, and there's so many new varieties to them so I wanted to talk to you about those as well. We're all very familiar with the French lilacs, those old-fashioned huge panicle flowers, beautiful, great plants for the garden. Um, however, they're also the fastest blooming. So you get that fragrance very early in spring. And then, you know, sometimes a uh, freeze comes by or what have you, and then you don't have that flower as long as we'd like sometimes. So then um, you'd probably want to look at some of the other types of lilacs that are available out there. And there are some fantastic later season bloomers. These two are actually pressed in lilac so they're a type of lilac that actually will give you a later lilac season blooming so there's a couple different varieties here miss canada also donald wyman behind the flowers are not quite the same as that french lilac flower but they're still very very large and showy and still have a fragrance to them so that might be a good option if you're looking for that later lilac um, some of the newer varieties out there of course are going to be your repeat blooming types um, proven winners has developed shorter more compact packed um, sort of round mounded lilacs if you will they don't grow upright and oval shaped like the classic variety and these lilacs are going to be your repeat bloomer so they're called bloomerang you'll find bloomerang in purple you'll find it in a dark purple as well and also a light pink the whole key with these lilacs is again you're going to plant them in a in a fairly sunny area so we'd like to say six or more hours of direct sunlight average moisture in the soil they don't like it too wet they don't like it too dry um, good fertilizer of course so we like to plant these with plant tone uh, especially in the springtime use plant tone around them and then of course again midsummer to give them an extra feeding and then from there they're really ready to go uh, with the repeat bloomers so the bloomerang types you're going to want to shear them immediately after they're finished blooming so you'll remove the spent flowers right off the top take a couple inches off down over the stalk and then after that they will give you a second repeat bloom later in the season sometimes if the season's long you can get a third bloom uh, cycle out of them so they're really great very very fragrant um, flower colors are very nice and showy out there and make an excellent gift for mother's day um, so really do come out and, and check out all the other options in lilacs that are available out there and you'll really enjoy them.